Watch Don Carrigan on News Center 2. Good evening. Tonight on News Center's Late Edition at 11, details on a new contract for nurses at Eastern Maine Medical Center. And Rich Kimball has a live report from Lake Placid. And in Washington, Ed Meese says he won't quit. Plus, Ken Barlow's forecast. Eloise, we'll see partly cloudy skies tonight, maybe a passing shower, temperatures mild, 35 to 40. Another beauty tomorrow, developing sun and highs in the 50s. Eloise? Join us tonight for News Center at 11. News Center looks back at the flood of 87 and what has happened since. Join us live from Dover Foxcroft, beginning at 5.30, April 1st. While man may have experienced defeat. Everybody knows that broken hearts can be mended, but almost nobody knows that smokers' hearts can be mended too. As soon as you quit, the damaging effects of cigarettes begin to go away. In a matter of years, your risk of heart attack can be as low as someone who never smoked. So if you're trying to give up cigarettes for the first time or the fifth, remember, absence makes the heart grow stronger. Main weather in Ken Barlow, weekdays on New Center 2. enjoyed today's feature of the Channel 2 movie, watch next Saturday afternoon at 4 for a story about the confusion over a baby switch at birth. See He's Not Your Son, starring Donna Mills. Channel 2, yeah, WLBZ Channel 2 Bangor, W57AQ Channel 57 Callus, and W04AK Channel 4 Waterville. I'm Tom Halleck. Some of the stories we're working on for tonight's late edition. Still no proof there was an explosion, a bomb, or sabotage for Flight 103. We'll have the latest on that. Another tragedy, this one in Memphis, Tennessee. A propane tanker truck explodes. Six people are killed. Also tonight, a new report that says there are more homeless people in Maine than first thought, and that the number is increasing dramatically. Tailed up with the sports, Peggy Kaiser will have our holiday forecast all in about 35 minutes. Stop by the Bangor Humane Society this week and meet Kiki, Sweet Stuff, and Buzz, a coon cat. They're all up for adoption, and so are these kittens. If you're looking for a dog, how about Whiskers? She's nine months old, and she's been spayed. Or maybe you'd rather choose a puppy like one of these two. You know, with colder weather coming, you need to begin thinking about making a shelter for your favorite pet, and the Bangor Humane Society can answer any questions you might have. They're open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. WLBZ-TV honors 1989 Jefferson Award recipient Brenda Rogerson of Hamden for her work as a professional and a volunteer. And I found from my work on pediatrics there's a great need for foster homes. And over the last five years, I've had eight foster children in my home. I get a lot of satisfaction from seeing these children uh, become more stable in their lives, have a, a more productive life, become settled. Another aspect of Brenda's contributions deals with the support she provides to grieving parents. Through her efforts, the Bangor Area Chapter of Compassionate Friends was founded. As a nurse, foster parent, and compassionate friend, Brenda is making a difference in the lives of many people. I don't know. I guess I do it because that's what my life is all about. 1989 Jefferson Award recipient Brenda Rogerson. Maybe you recognize me. For six years, I hung around your neighborhood, even your own home. I was a drug pusher for a drug that causes the most suffering of all, nicotine. 
I was an ad model for cigarettes. My name is David Gerlitz, and my face appeared everywhere. Posters, billboards, magazine ads. I was used by a cigarette company to glamorize smoking, and it's a lie. I no longer want to be an ad model for cigarettes. I want to be a role model for my children and other people's children. By 10 p.m., most people in Bangor are warm within their homes, kids tucked into bed. But for a growing number of people of all ages, the streets have become home, and each day a struggle to find temporary refuge from the freezing cold. Teens, often from abusive homes, follow the road of drug abuse that leads them into the atrium house, as long as they follow house rules. And fixed incomes can mean continually living on the brink of homelessness. Watch Cold Streets, Tuesday the 14th at 7, only on Channel 2. Game. Saturday, March 18th at 1, only on Channel 2. On Family Ties. Tonight at 7.30 here on Channel 2. WLBZ-TV honors Iris Hoffman, a 1989 Jefferson Award winner. Iris's first volunteer endeavors were with the Camden Soup Kitchen and Youth Arts. But her most passionate volunteer efforts involve her work as a court-appointed special advocate and as president of the Knox County Child Abuse and Neglect Council. And, uh, you know, society goes around kind of not realizing what's happening to children. And children grow up into adults. Adults control the world. We feel as child advocates when you meet at a convention, you go to that convention, you get all that information, you go back with lots of energy, and you go back to your community. 1989 Jefferson Award recipient Iris Hoffman. And instead of complaining, life isn't treating us right, forget it. You know, that, that, that's not what life is about. Life is about doing things for other people. Join us on MASH. Weekdays at 5 here on Channel 2. Ride a wild pony. Watch the Channel 2 movie this Sunday morning at 10. Black Bear Hockey. It has been a year of fast-moving action and intense competition. We've seen scoring streaks from Perron and Capuano. We've seen strong defense. The Black Bears have again been a dominant force in the East. Coach Sean Walsh joins me for Sports Alive Wednesday the 15th. We'll take a look at the Hockey East playoffs and a look ahead to the NCAAs. Join us for Sports Alive. Wednesday night at 7, only on Channel 2. No matter what your reason is for being a wheel watcher, we're glad to have you along. Whether it's for the excitement of watching a big winner or the anticipation of where the wheel will stop. No other show gives you the thrill or the fun of Wheel of Fortune. I'm a wheel watcher. I'm a wheel watcher. Become one now. Hi, I'm Ken Barlow, and this is my son Patrick and I'm very thankful to be holding him. It could have been different. A few weeks ago, my wife Teresa had taken an extra few seconds to buckle Patrick into his car seat and buckle herself in as well. Those few seconds mattered a lot to our family. Make sure your children are buckled in safely because it could be the difference between a safe homecoming or no one at home. Buckle up because your family matters. Children need a helping hand all through life. And one of the times of greatest need is when a child is drawn into the court system. The main district court needs concerned citizens to volunteer their time as advocates for the abused and neglected children who are removed from their homes each year. Please call 879-4766 and give a child a hand. In conjunction with their routine patrols, game wardens will again this year be checking camps throughout the state. The purpose of these checks is to let camp owners know about any problems which may arise during the winter, such as break-ins or heavy snow accumulations. If a warden visits your camp, he will leave a card showing the date he visited and the condition of the camp at the time of his visit. If he finds a problem with your property, he'll make every effort to contact you as soon as possible. Most snowmobiles manufactured today are capable of traveling at high rates of speed. Groom trails are not developed or maintained as cross-country racetracks. Trail maintenance crews from snowmobile clubs, municipalities, and the Bureau of Parks and Recreation ask you to tread lightly.
Please use a reasonable speed for the trail conditions you see ahead, or we'll all be losers in the end. Some people seem to think they need alcohol to enjoy Maine outdoors. Out here on the trail, alcohol and a snow machine can make a deadly combination. You should know it's against the law to operate a snowmobile under the influence. For your sake and other trail users, please don't drink and drive on our trails this winter. This message is brought to you by the Maine Inland Fisheries and Wildlife Department and this station. You know, Vern, for over 60 years, the Shriners Hospitals have helped or cured over 250,000 crippled children. And the Shriners Hospitals provide this care free for children who cannot afford the care they need. But they need your support and involvement, Vern. Why, I'm so involved with the Shriners. One day, they may make me the grand, exalted, high Putin. If your family has the tired of winter, can't wait for spring doldrums, why not plan something together for the entire family? You could dig out your favorite board games. Yeah, they're lots of fun. Or if you want to get out of the house, jump into the car for a trip back in time with a visit to a museum. No matter what you do, it's fun to plan family activities together. and families of Channel 2 wish you and your family a happy and safe holiday season. WLBZ Channel 2 Bangor. We continue with one match. Watch New Center 2 with Eloise Daniels at 6 and 11. Night Court, weekdays at 5.30. Cheers, weekdays at 5. Donahue, weekdays at 12.30. Now, back to our... Alf, weekdays at 4 on Channel 2. Up next on Late Edition, cameras in the courtroom. Could it happen here in Maine? The people who insure your bank deposits are having a hard time staying afloat. New Maine trustees issue a May Day for the Good Ship Education. And six Cambodian youngsters are home in Bangor tonight with their new parents. All the details coming up next. Good evening, everyone. I'm Eloise Daniels. Coming up in about a half an hour, an urgent warning for America's banks. Bank failures could wipe out the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. And if the state of Maine wants to stay afloat, officials say there will have to be 600 layoffs immediately, and many after that as well. In better news tonight, six youngsters from Cambodia are settling into their new homes in Maine this evening with their new parents. We'll tell you about that. And sweepstakes fans, get ready for something new called the Ultimate Experience. Join us for details at 11. The Bangor Ski Rex winter clothing is designed for the most extreme conditions. Don't sacrifice comfort, fashion, or warmth on imitations. Come to the Bangor Ski Rex, Main Square Mall, Bangor. Here's Dr. Judd on Family Matters. All you ever hear from your kids are, everybody does it. Everybody has one. Peer pressure is a normal part of growing up, but you can learn to survive the everybody does it syndrome. I'm Dr. Judd. Surviving peer pressure means staying flexible. It can start at an early age with children wanting certain toys. As kids get older, peer pressure focuses on dating, leisure time, even clothes. When you realize your kids listen more to their friends than to you, you can be left feeling hurt, angry, even fearful for their safety. Stay involved with your kid's school and social life. If the issues are minor, like clothes or music, relax. But if the issues are more serious and involve important family values, don't give up. Kids' relationships with their families have a direct impact on peer pressure. Children from warm, loving families are more likely to choose friends with the same values. This message was brought to you by J.F. Singleton Realtors, Village Subaru, and Shop and Save Supermarkets, because your family matters. This is a News Center update. 
Good evening. Coming up on tonight's Late Edition at 11, bad news for state workers. There will be 600 layoffs immediately with more to come. Trustees, meanwhile, at the University of Maine say that university is on the verge of a state of emergency because of all this budget cutting. We do have some good news, though. Heating oil prices are headed down once again. We'll have the latest on a proposal that would allow cameras into Maine's courtrooms. And the touching story of six Cambodian children who arrived in Bangor to meet their American parents for the first time. In the forecast, beginning clear, but then clouding up late as the storm moves into our area. Lows 19 to 24 degrees. For tomorrow, rain starts out at periods of sleet and freezing rain with highs only 37 to 42. Join us tonight at 11. Why shop at 80 stores when you can find wonderful presents for everyone at one store? The Grasshopper Shop in downtown Bangor, Camden, and Ellsworth. Donahue, weekdays at 1230. Now, back to our... I'm Willie Kruger, and I'm custodian over at the back apartments, but, but, but you know that. Well, hello, Mr. Kruger. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. A legendary star creates a memorable new character in this lighthearted yet poignant tale. Don't miss Jimmy Stewart and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir in Mr. Kruger's Christmas, this Saturday afternoon at 1. When you change your clocks back, replace your batteries and your smoke alarms. A reminder from Channel 2. I heard one candidate say he could do it all without what raising taxes. What about health care? I heard her at a rally one time, and I really like during an election year, it's always difficult to separate fact from fiction. That's why News Center is bringing you a series of debates with the candidates. And this year, we'd like you to be on the panel. Just fax or email your question to News Center on the issue that matters most to you, and we'll ask the candidates for you. Join News Center's Pat Callahan for our Decision 94 debate with the candidates for governor. Tuesday night at 7, only on your 24-hour News Center, Channel 2. This is WLDC-TV, Bangor. Steve McKay and Lee Goldberg, weeknights on your 24-hour news center, Channel 2. Portland. Sharon Rose and Steve McKay, weeknights on your 24-hour news center, Channel 2. The hundred... That time of year, turn back your clocks one hour this Saturday at bedtime. It'll save you time. What do thousands of people, dozens of nonprofit groups, and booths full of new to you treasures all have in common? It's Channel 2's 7th Annual World's Largest Garage Sale, co sponsored by Bangor Center Management. This year's event is Saturday, June 17, so if your nonprofit, civic, social, charitable, or religious organization wants to be part of Bangor's biggest bargaining bonanza, don't delay. Write to Channel 2 at P.O. Box 415, Bangor 04402, or call 942 4821. Sign up today. Inside my shop. He's once again to twist arms for funds no matter what the cause, and that's just plain wrong. Maine's law is on the books because of the implied coercion that is perceived when an officer, a policeman, sheriff, or the fundraisers they hire comes knocking at your door looking for money or valuable property. There is a perception that something awful would happen if you didn't give. And there's a perception that one might avoid a speeding ticket if you stuck a bumper sticker in your car saying, you support the police. That was the issue 20 years ago when the ban went on the books. That was the issue two years ago when the Maine Sheriff's Association ignored the law and court decisions and hired a New Jersey fundraiser. The legislative answer to the proposal to lift police solicitations ban should be no. No to police solicitation. That's our opinion. We welcome yours. You're watching Channel 2, WLBZ-TV, Bangor, W57AQ, Callis, Channel 57, W04AK, Waterville, Channel 4. For decades, those less fortunate in Madawaska have found a friend in Charles Gagne. He was town manager and currently serves as a devoted member of the St. Thomas Aquinas Social Justice and Peace Commission. 
He started out on the commission as a volunteer and because of his ability to organize and to get things done, he slowly worked his way up to be the chairperson of that commission and then from there they started all kinds of different activities which help people in this community. Charlie says his volunteers are the key to the success of the commission, but it's because of his leadership that those down on their lot can now find clothing, food, and other necessities. You know, we have people from different parishes that call on us now to help them out, and we have the facilities set up so that we can do this work. And this is all thanks to Charlie's ability as a coordinator or an organizer. Channel 2 salutes Charles Gagne with the Jefferson Award. This is WLBZ-TV, Bangor. Welcome to the Channel 2 Saturday Late Night Movie. Tonight, a gang of international killers wreak havoc on the world. Telly Savala stars in the Assassination Bureau, the Channel 2 Late Night Movie. Congratulations to the University of Maine Black Bears on a fantastic season. Channel 2 was with you all season long and will be there again next year to bring home all of the excitement of Black Bear hockey. Only on the station you count on for University of Maine Sports, Channel 2. Watch Gordon Elliott mornings here on Channel 2. Here at News Center 2, we want to stay in touch with you. That's why we have our exclusive bullet hole. And when the weather gets bad, we also want to know if your event is still on. Even if you don't have touchstone service, you can respond to our poll and call in your cancellation during Storm Center. Here's what you do. Once you reach our automated service, change the switch on the side of your phone to tone instead of pulse. You'll be sure to stay in touch with your friends at News Center 2. Home Improvement, six nights a week at 7 on Channel 2. Mad About You, weekdays at 5, here on Channel 2. Seinfeld, six nights a week at 7.30 on WLBZ 2. For free information. Steve McKay's Weather, weeknights at 5.30, 6, and 11 on News Center 2. Home Improvement, six nights a week at 7, here on Channel 2. Check. Like Julia Roberts never returning your calls. And now you can also depend on Murphy Brown for laughs five times a week. Well, geez, Frank, Julia always returns my calls. Murphy Brown returns to weekdays beginning January 27th. You're watching Channel 2, WLBZ-TV Bangor, W57AQ Callis Channel 57, and W04AK Waterville Channel 4. You're watching WLBZ-TV Bangor, Eastern Maine's most-watched television station. Michigan. For almost two decades, Channel 2 has honored Maine's best volunteers and public servants through our annual Jefferson Award campaign. Hi, I'm New Center's Vince Bavacqua. And I'm Kimberly Brown. People truly make the difference. Our Jefferson Awards recognize those individuals who go above and beyond the call of duty. If you know of someone in your community who performs outstanding public service, please nominate them for a 1997 Jefferson Award. Call 942-4821. We'll send you the complete details and a nomination form. Fact. Each week, more people in Maine get their news from News Center than any other television news organization in the state. Fact. When bad weather hits, three times as many of your friends and neighbors watch Storm Center than the other two stations' programs combined. Fact. News Center 2 brings you more hours of local news each day than our competition does combined. The facts are clear. Live, local, late-breaking. This is WLBZ News Center 2. Good evening, I'm Steve McKay. We've had some sprinkles and some showers across much of central and eastern and coastal Maine. A uh, little trough moving through the area, moving out into the Atlantic. So looks like sunshine milder tomorrow. Details on the forecast coming up. The news doesn't just happen from 9 to 5. 
That's why the News Center team is working hard for you into the late night hours. I'm Vince Bavacqua. Those stories and more are new tonight. All the news. Budget cuts. How will they affect you? We'll tell you. If it's new tonight, you'll see it at 11 on News Center tonight. When you want the big story of the day, you need News Center 2. The bitter cold made for a tough fight. Smoldering remains had to be doused one at a time. A college student from Old Town is recovering tonight after another man slashed his throat during Portland's New Year's Eve celebration. When the ice fishing season began last year, thick ice greeted fishermen. Not this year. For all the day's news and the big story of the day, count on News Center 2. The Big Story, News Center brings it to you every night. In 1996, Vince Bavacqua brought you the biggest stories of the year. We know Bouchard spent time in a psychiatric hospital. Should he have been released? Vince was all over Maine, covering the big stories of 96. Where are the woodcutters going to come from? Now, Vince Bavacqua joins Kimberly Brown behind the News Center desk to bring all the big stories straight to you. Watch Vince Bavacqua weeknights at 6 and 11 only on News Center 2. Oh, Larry. I'm sure enough glad you outside to bring the ice fish with you. Well, I've been trying to get on that Channel 2's big old fish, and I, I figured if I brought somebody who didn't know nothing about ice fishing, I'd stand a better chance. Would you look at that? And frozen solid, too. Keeps it fresher, longer. You catch anything? Send in your picture for Big Old Fish. Post Office Box 415, Bangor, Maine, 04402. Weekdays at 5, here on WLBZ 2. Outer Limits. The Outer Limits, Sunday night at 11.30 on Channel 2. I keep listening for the bell of the church to ring early in the morning. It starts my day with a happy, contented mind. Your words of thought and inspiration help make any day better. If I have to miss it, my day is not the same. These letters reflect the importance of First Radio Parish Church of America in the lives of many of our viewers. I'm Rev. David Glusker, inviting you to begin your day in a thoughtful way by joining me for daily devotions every morning at 6.15, only on Channel 2. When will it stop? How bad will it get? How much is on the way? You need accurate and dependable answers to your weather questions. That's what News Center 2 meteorologist Steve McKay gives you every night. Steve has been a part of your community for years. He knows how important an accurate forecast is to you and your family. Steve McKay's weather, weeknights at 5, 36 and 11, only on News Center 2. Every once in a while this time of year, I like to whip up a little something special that I call Storm Center. Now the first thing you need is a little bit of snow. Sometimes you need a lot of snow. And you definitely need some ice. And you need cancellations. Lots of cancellations. You have to throw in the latest forecast from meteorologist Steve McKay. And now for the secret ingredient. Sweaters! Lots and lots of sweaters. Everybody wears sweaters. You look at <laughs> Late Night Fridays here on Channel 2. Two. Late Night Fridays here on Channel 2. Looking for gardening tips? Let WLPZ2's Virtual Village link you to 124 sites just sprouting with gardening know-how. The WLPZ2 Virtual Village. Make yourself at home. Must see TV only on WLBZ2. Bangor. Alexander. Seinfeld. Weeknights at 7.30 on WLBZ2. Steve McKay's weather. Weeknights on New Center 2. Must See TV, only on WLBZ2. Bangor. Must See TV, only on WLBZ2. Bangor. Watch Frasier and Seinfeld tonight on WLBZ2. Must See TV, only on WLBZ2. Bangor. Watch Frasier and Seinfeld tonight on WLBZ2. Must See TV, only on WLBZ2. Bangor. Watch Frasier and Seinfeld tonight on WLBZ2. 
Must See TV, only on WLBZ2. Bangor. Must See TV, only on WLBZ2. Bangor. The devastating effects of Ice Storm 98 are still being felt by folks throughout Maine. I'm meteorologist Steve McKay. All this week at 5 p.m., WLBZ News Center 2 will present a special program designed to help you get your life back to normal. We'll bring together experts from all fields to answer all of your questions, from getting your power back to filling out insurance forms, to dealing with the rest of this winter. We'll tell you what you need to know. Ice Storm 98, the recovery, all this week at 5 p.m. here on News Center 2. Call Vince Bavacqua, weeknights on News Center 2. You're watching WLBZ2, Bangor. New Center 2 went to work for you because that's what a good neighbor does during a crisis. Many people in our state make the difference, and WLBZ2 needs your help to honor them. I'm New Center 2 meteorologist Steve McKay. We are starting our 1998 Jefferson Awards campaign. If you know someone in your community, either a volunteer or a paid professional who is doing outstanding public service work, please nominate them for this prestigious award. Call during regular business hours and we'll send you a nomination form. WLBZ2's Jefferson Awards, honoring people who make the difference. Coming up tonight on WLBZ U Center 2. I'm Vince Bavacqua. Most Mainers had their power back from Ice Storm 98, but there is a group of folks going on two weeks without their electricity. How are they coping? We'll check in on them. Plus, a local delivery service is helping to restock local food pantries. Be sure to join us tonight for the next 6 o'clock. If it's live, local, and late breaking, you'll see it tonight on WLBZ News Center 2. Vince Bavacqua, weeknights on News Center 2. Seinfeld, weeknights at 7.30 on WLBZ2. Are you really? Frasier, weeknights at 7 on WLBZ2. The city of Bangor is poised to ban commercial nudity. We'll tell you what happens at 11. Coming up tomorrow on WLBZ News Center 2. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Brown. Coming up on the next 6 o'clock report, it may look like fun and games, but these youngsters are building serious ties to their older friends. It's all about role models. We'll see you in. Join us for the next 6 o'clock report here on News Center. Tuesday on News Center 2's 6 o'clock report. In Down East Maine, lobstering is a way of life. But for all the ocean gives, it can also take away. When it happens to somebody else's husband, it could just as well have been your husband. These women know the dangers of working the sea, so they are taking steps to keep their husbands safe. What they've accomplished is amazing. We'll share their inspirational story with you Tuesday at 6 on New Center 2. Tuesday on New Center 2's 6 o'clock report. In Down East Maine, lobstering is a way of life. But for all the ocean gives, it can also take away. When it happens to somebody else's husband, it could just as well have been your husband. These women know the dangers of working the sea, so they are taking steps to keep their husbands safe. What they've accomplished is amazing. We'll share their inspirational story with you Tuesday at 6 on New Center 2. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Rooks. Coming up on News Center tonight at 11, it is all over for the main team in the U.S. Academic Decathlon. Awards were handed out today, and News Center's Sharon Rose was there. She will have a full report on how Maine's team did. If you're watching Merlin right now, you might be wondering how they created all the special effects. We will find out how a few were done. And the Bruins went into double overtime today in their playoff game against the Washington Capitals. Lee will have sports. Roger, the forecast. Hope you'll join us at 11. Tuesday on New Center 2's 6 o'clock report. In Down East Maine, lobstering is a way of life. But for all the ocean gives, it can also take away. When it happens to somebody else's husband, it could just as well have been your husband. These women know the dangers of working the sea, so they are taking steps to keep their husbands safe. What they've accomplished is amazing. We'll share their inspirational story with you Tuesday at 6 on New Center 2. To understand Maine, you have to appreciate all of it, from the picturesque down east coast to southern Maine's sandy beaches, from the majestic northern woods 
to the hustle and bustle of our cities. Our state is as unique as the people who call it home. Every day at News Center 2, we bring you local news from your town and news from throughout our state. We are part of Maine and proud to be covering all of it. We are WLBZ News Center 2. Tonight on News Center 2's 6 o'clock report. I'm Kimberly Brown. It's common for many elderly folks to have a bad fall. But did you know half of those who do fall will die within a year because of those injuries? A new outreach program is hoping to change that. We'll show you this balancing act. Plus, we'll have the latest for you on the crash of Swiss Air Jet Flight 111. Join us at 6 o'clock here on News Center. Watch those stories and get all the day's news tonight at 6 on News Center 2. Tonight on News Center 2's 6 o'clock report. I'm Kimberly Brown. Most sculptors use a hammer and a chisel to chip away at their artwork, but this guy decided to take a different approach to his creations. We'll see how he does it. Plus, these people are moving soon, but their address is going to stay the same. We'll explain. Be sure to join us for the next 6 o'clock report. It's here on News Center. Watch those stories and get all the day's news tonight at 6 on News Center 2. Tonight on News Center 2's 6 o'clock report. Hi, I'm Donna Gormley. Would you take this? Many people are praising the amazing results of a product a man from Stonington makes from sea cucumbers. And it's good for your dog, too. Also, we'll ride along with Life Flight as it gets hospitals ready for when and if the time comes. Be sure to join us tonight for the 6 o'clock report. Watch those stories and get all the day's news tonight at 6 on News Center 2. Thursday. A prominent Bangor doctor is shot and killed in his own home. Uh, our criminal investigation division is investigating this as a suspicious death. One year later, still no answers. Will they ever find the killer or is it too late? Don't miss this special report. Coming up tonight on WLBZ U Center 2. I'm Vince Pavacqua. On the next 6 o'clock report, if you think the storms we've had so far are bad, just wait till you hear about 100 locals getting ready for the storm of the century. And you know what? They're actually looking forward to it. We'll explain. Be sure to join us for the 6 o'clock report. If it's live, local, and late breaking, you'll see it tonight on WLBZ News Center 2. The people of Maine are proud. They are honest and hardworking. Fishermen and farmers, blueberry growers and business people. Reporting Maine's news is also an important job. We've worked long and hard building a tradition of bringing you local news from your town and news from throughout our state. We've been doing it for more than 40 years. We are WLBZ News Center 2. Live, local, late breaking. This is an update from WLBZ U Center 2. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kimberly Brown. New tonight at 11, the Bangor City Council decides not to vote on a commercial nudity law. This could be setting the stage for something more extreme. Also tonight, Maine lobstermen just want the federal government to back off, but the opposite may be happening. Those stories and a whole lot more we'll see you tonight at 11 o'clock. For your local news and the big story of the day, listen weekday afternoons to Magic 95.7 and Soft Hits 92.9. Daily radio updates only from New Center 2. Making a difference in 1998. Hi, everyone. I'm Kimberly Brown. And I'm Vince Favacqua. WLBZ2 is proud to sponsor so many events here in Eastern Maine. From the Jefferson Awards and the Coats for Kids campaign to the world's largest garage sale and the Maine Shakespeare Festival, WLBZ2 is there. But none of what we do could be a success without continuous support from people like you. So from all of us here at WLBZ2, thanks for proving that the people of Eastern Maine do make a difference. Frazier, weeknights at 7 on WLBZ2. Edition. Watch Inside Edition only on WLBZ2. The people of Maine are proud. They are honest and hardworking. Fishermen and farmers, blueberry growers and business people. Reporting Maine's news is also an important job. 
We worked long and hard building a tradition of bringing you local news from your town and news from throughout our state. We've been doing it for more than 40 years. We are WLBZ News Center 2. WLBZ 2 and you have made the summer of 98 one to remember. Here at WLBZ 2, we are proud to sponsor the arts in our community. The Bangor Band Performances. The Huss and Pops on the Green Concert. The Belfast Maskers Theater. And the Maine Shakespeare Festival. And thank you for making the WLBZ 2 Sidewalk Arts Festival one of the most talked about events of the summer. Arts and entertainment for the whole family. Brought to you by WLBZ 2. Not far from here on a night very much like this one. Another ghost story. This is a true story, one of the great mysteries of Maine. We've heard them since we were kids, stories of buried treasure on Casco Bay, of an ancient people who flourished for thousands of years before vanishing, of four canoeists whose trip down the Allagash took them further than ever expected. WLBZ News Center 2, along with the Bangor Daily News, explore six great mysteries that are part of Maine's legends. All this week at 6 on WLBZ News Center 2. A crisis brings neighbors together. During the ice storm of 98, WLBZ2 is proud to have put our unequal statewide resources to work for you. Let's begin in Westbrook. In the Bangor area. Live in Augusta. News Center helped you get answers to your questions. We had asked for people who had expertise to call up. Got one. Boy, they've been doing it, and we appreciate it. Storm Center and Steve McKay set the standard for severe weather coverage. When severe weather hits, you rely on Storm Center and meteorologist Steve McKay. Steve has the experience you trust, along with the new center too. You're watching WLBZ2, Bangor, W57 AQ Callis, Channel 57, and WGCI LP, Channel 4, Waterville. Straight ahead on News Center, the stakes couldn't be much higher for President Clinton as he prepares to testify about his relationship with Monica Lewinsky. Police arrest five people suspected in a car bombing in Northern Ireland. Meanwhile, peace negotiator George Mitchell says his trip to Northern Ireland next month is still a go. And after two days of music and partying, fish fans finally say goodbye to the lemon wheel. Clouds are returning and the rain is on our doorstep. It'll arrive late this afternoon. My complete forecast is next on News Center at noon. The things we take for granted are sometimes provided by people who make a difference just by doing their job. For those Mainers who are homebound, the Bangor Daily News takes them around the world and home again every day. The Bangor Daily News salutes their hometown heroes, the Root Carrier. From rural communities to the cities, they begin each day making sure the Bangor Daily News is there for your morning cup of coffee. No matter what the weather, the friendly, conscientious root carriers are delivering the Bangor Daily News, making a difference for so many. When we travel from Bar Harbor, people will come up to us and they'll look at Steve and they'll go, Major, I'm so happy to see you. They actually feel as if we are their friends. They will holler across the aisle, you gonna treat me better than family? I mean, that's what Channel 2 has done for us. It's put us on the map. Television is, is the media that go, because the picture's worth a thousand words. Maybe more. And if you come to Jekyll and Hyde, we'll treat you like family. Maybe better. Weeknights, only on WLBZ2. Every once in a while, this time of year, I like to whip up a little something special that I call Storm Center. Now, the first thing you need is a little bit of snow. Sometimes you need a lot of snow. And you definitely need some ice. And you need cancellations. Lots of cancellations. You have to throw in the latest forecast from meteorologist Steve McKay. And now for the secret ingredient. Sweaters! Lots and lots of sweaters. Everybody wears sweaters. Pop quiz time, the topic nutrition, next News Center at 5. Where's the workforce? Tonight on News Center 2. Shannon Moss, weekends on News Center 2. Monday morning, making music in a cave. 
That's all I'm going to say. We'll keep you in the dark until Monday. Dark cave, get it? On the next News Center at 5, we'll meet a black Labrador on a mission. We'll show you how licorice the dog keeps a young boy with autism from getting lost. I'm Rick Tyler. That's on the next News Center at 5. And coming up on News Center at 5.30, a new treatment may be the answer for cancer patients who can't have surgery. Doctors are zapping tumors using a heated probe, and the results are impressive. I'm Cindy Williams. Join us for News Center at 5 and 5.30. Weekdays at 12.30 on WLBZ2. Weekdays at 4, followed by News Center 2. September 11th, next Oprah. Weekdays at 4 on WLBZ2. Weekdays at 3 on WLBZ2.